Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review, or Bonacle playset review in this case. And this one's on Tower of Toa from 2005. So on the front of the semi-large box, which was the common size for $50 sets at the time, but nowadays $50 sets would be about that uh, tall, which was kind of ridiculous by this time, but you know. But on the front of the box, you have the uh, Bonacle logo and a little bit of Metronui on top of it and Tower of Toa and a little choking hazard and picture of everything going on around it and Bonacle.com, Lego logo, and also recommended ages is 7 to 16. Set number 8758 has 410 pieces. And then flip on to the back side of the box which have a semi-realistic picture of the set and a couple features of it well all the features of it how the visceracs glow in the dark and also all the tohordika minifigs and bonk.com and a whole alternate build of the set which is what they used to do all the time most of the time at back back then well since like the late 70s until this time yeah and that's about it with the box here. And now onto the instruction manual, of which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. First page of which is the a realistic picture yet again. On the back, advertisement of Lego Shop at Home. <clears throat> advertisement of Lego Club, and then advertisement of uh, Bonkle 3, Web of Shadows movie. Advertisement of Bonkle.com, the old style version. Advertisement of all the Viserac and all the Tohordika with that I have previously reviewed. And then the other two playsets, of which Battle Metro Dewey. Next, next, throwback Thursday. Stay tuned for that. And then. Realistic picture yet again, all the features of the set, and last building steps. Now, first of which is this, all the pairs of the uh, Tor Hordika minifigs, which, if you see my couple other uh, reviews of the Viserac Gate and Viserac Battle. Battle Ram, I have kind of covered them, so that's so not gonna say much any of that, but yeah, you can't for that. But all the same as in the other two playset, as all four, three, four playsets of 2005. So here we have a uh, Vakama Wenua, a uh, Matau and Duju, and then a uh, Nokama and Oniwa. And then that last of which is like one of the mini Viserax, which, as, as I said in all my, in the other reviews, is which pinchers closely resembling most of the sets and are black and glow in the dark mix. And of course, the feature is when I push on the, the far back part and let them launch up, of course. And so, when and now to one of the two mini builds in the set are these little uh, guard posts or something, which are pretty much just four by four plates with a couple of uh, round bricks in them, and also uh, Vakama Hordika's sword or flame sword piece, but in with the bomb part in black, uh, which compared to dark red. So if you are to use this for mocking, this is which good way to have that. And of course, the only way you can get them is in this set, of course. And of course, Dark Red did come in a couple other sets as well, but yeah. And then, next to which is the uh, large uh, lead Viserac set, or Viserac, of course. So, kind of a unique build, different than the version that comes in the uh, Battle of Metro Nui set for that. And since, of course, not the same bill as all the other Viseracs, but yeah. And so, like the legs of which, just the same Viserac 
foot pieces and also the little spike pieces in, that were start introduced in the Vikings line from this time. And, and the main limb pieces attached by the are, are just uh, Metrumatorn limbs, the smallest kinds there are, and have double hand connectors in dark blue. Nice to get there, and some technic bits of which go in around a like sprinkling cannon piece, which, which if you push on this back part, it launches off like so. So kind of an interesting hidden feature in this set, in this build, of course. And as for the back abdomen part, which is a, a Borak face shield piece, but in dark blue. Kind of nice to get in that color scheme, of course. In that color, I mean. And then as for the head part, which is the uh, Mask of Shadow piece of, from Makuta and Makuta Icarax, but in... Uh, this darkish gold color, which is kind of cool to get in that color if you are to make like an alternate version of Makuta or whatever. And also these little tail tip pieces from the Dinosaurs line in 2001 and carried on for many more years, of course. So that's about it with this large viscera. And now, a little heads up is for this. A uh, whole uh, set, which is that there's the main tower center part, but there's also these uh, side two side sections, which have little pins on the sides of them that connect to the sides. But kind of like the uh, 2000 early ver 2003 version of Jabba's palace in Star Wars. So interesting seeing that here, and also some earlier castle sets as well. But however, let's see for that. So I do have couple of two uh, or two or two by two by two brick or six bricks right in here since they're since of course to keep the cost and all lower and also a large jagged slope and also a few bricks stacked to which and a few technic bricks uh, as well and little pillars on the back side for that and as for this center part which are those panels with little stickers on them and you can just hold on that and raise the door up of it and have a fig have figs walk on through them and, and also have little cylinders with tooths on them and also by one jagged slopes with flames around on the top part of them I think. And then also, as for this one, of which another jagged slope and a Toamata headpiece in metallic silver. Nice to get in that color scheme for that. And then Liwanduva katanas, of course. And that's about it with this section. And all the way you can like turn it upwards or if you wanted. But yeah, that's about it with that section. And now on to this other section which is kind of the same but with a little launching uh, catapult mechanism here but and also a couple of extra bricks with golly mata hooks and silver not sure why but at least it's probably there for extra greebling and then have a couple of jagged slopes around and also a toa mata onua's uh, claw piece and silver and those, which goes down to some technic pieces is in this kind of shaping and also get this little boulder piece like in the other two play sets of this wave can like put it there and then mount it just right and leap right up for that so quite fun feature and although this feature is also in the uh, battle of metro nui play set as well well of course and also forgot to say also a couple of cylinder pieces in translucent orange kind of Need to use for mocking, of course. And that is about it there. And now on to the main center part of it, the Tower of Toa here. That's oh, quite tall. 
for how it is, but yeah. <clears throat> so like this front sack part of which which just about like Battle of Metro Nui and uh, uh Parak Stronghold the following year, and also the Toa Terrain Crawler in the Mari Nui line, which kind of a large gateway piece of that. But however, in this case, it's shaped like uh, the Taragaduma mask, of course, but with a bunch of stickers around it. Of course, and however, flip. and of course, both sides of which, which are uh, just a bunch of uh, two by four by six bricks uh, stacked on top, just stacked, and then just more jagged slopes upwards. So barely much going on for that since, of course, at this time of just resort to just bricks before snot's completely taken over later. Then this inside part of which completely hollow and not much going off of that. Wish there would have been some stuff or some extra bits going on there, like the Toa Suva or something. But that's just me. And then as for this upper part of which <coughs> Which, as you have these three somewhat ladderish pieces here, which, if you look on the back side, which is for another one of those launchers, that you can lift these up and move the launcher forward, and then, like, and then push, pull on the rod part in the back end, let it launch off. So, kind of a hidden feature for that, but of course. Although this missile, which kind of like the other, which is like the other ones, but the colors are opposite for that. Good change of pace there. And then a little farther up, have these couple of uh, ratchet kind of plates and bits to their holding Pohatu Nuva claws as extra spires or something. Then this little upper part of which, which comprises mostly a rounded brick and these kind of other rounded bricks to there. All of this top part of it, kind of a bit like some earlier Lego castle sets for that. And of course, enough space to stand the mini pig into. And then back section, yet again, quite hollowed out as well. Well, mainly to fit with the Hordika mini pigs and their uh, long staffs, of course. Then to the top part of which just same kind of effect going on but however it does have a couple of extra bricks on there and also a, that goes up to a rod holding another Pohatu Nuva claw on there in with a red, trans red dish piece for some reason probably to represent some eye part of Matanui or something or just the shadow part of Kuda not sure and then in the sides of which being the uh, Liwanuva katanas again and then and of course I would have the studded version of Lego strings in green representing the viscerac web pieces and got and as you got the rest of the mini viscerac's hanging on to there and then as for those sections that I showed earlier I would connect on to that one of which on this side And then one of which on will you can actually pin it in either in either one of those two. Like either farther back or more enclosed. Well, depending on how you want. And there it is. And so now we've got the uh, whole thing all together like with the two side builds on there. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall I think this is which a really good a really good playset of Bionicle, of course, like 
have plenty of good playability and also a few good recolors of pieces for that well with the large visitor accent like if you weren't able to get the uh, battle of metro Nui one and want the uh, lead gold Vizorak, this which kind of a good option for that and of course good to have the uh, Vakama Hordika uh, flame sword in, an, in a different color of course and all of the interior space of which do wish there would have been a little bit more going on in there but maybe they just didn't think very well at the time and although kind of remin the build of which kind of reminiscent of other castle sets although you can kind of make this work in your castle set kind of range unless if you have modified it to be not bonicle related and, and also and as for the uh, uh, Hordika minifigs, well, like, why have all six in all three playsets? Well, since they're all, well, all one piece of which, well, probably wanted to have all at once, like a miniature version of having the complete set of the main figures, of course. Uh, maybe that's just me, but yeah. And also, good to have the uh, Mask of Shadow piece, despite being in a different color, but also, as for the size for price of which, this is which quite good for the $50 that it was back in 2005, but in just for the inflation, probably put it at like $65 today. Well, even though the price for piece of which, 410 pieces for that much, kind of steep for that. They, of course, have a lot of like larger pieces added in, and also two springlet launchers, of course, which makes it sense. But yeah. And so now, if any of you uh, still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who are still looking to get this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.